Hey guys, we'll get started here on this build. I started out by working on cleaning up the, the uh, seams and getting some of the priming on the body and the chassis. Some of the pre-painting and masking on the body. You got the frame all put together. It went together really well. No issues at all. You see the top and the bottom there. Then we uh, got our first coat of paint on the basic assembly for the 283. There we got her kind of just sitting in there. We started painting the body, the duplicolor, medium quasar blue metallic. I really like this color; it just really turned out well. It really pops. And you can see the various body parts being done. We got the chassis all complete, ready to go in. And then we started working on the interior. I use the uh, Avignon Blue, which is a light blue metallic to represent my prost uh, cancer color, which is light blue for prostate cancer on the interior. We did wood grain on the steering wheel, and we got all our decals for the gauges and whatnot put in, and it's really nice, really nice. We got the chassis with the engine mounted. The wheels I took from a Lamborghini kit that has seen its better days because I really liked them. We got our sub assemblies there going. And we start laying out some of the chrome. Here's the chrome on the back. The chrome part, chrome parts on the front going in. Along with the headlights. And then uh, we're ready to start working on the windshield and, and whatnot. Here's a picture of the completed interior with the windshield on, door handles, mirrors. And I uh, hope you like it so far. Hi guys and welcome to my final reveal for the 2018 Cancer Awareness Group Build. We have our monogram 58 vet. All done. And all shiny. Um, this is a great kit. Um, all the way around. I built it a second time. There's a few things I would do different, a little bit differently, but overall, it's a great kit. Um, I built it completely box stock, with the exception of the wheels and tires. Um, I actually got those from a Lamborghini model that has seen its better days, but we uh, the wheels looked real nice. And I like the way they looked it, and uh, so we put put those on there. We have the top just uh, just sits on there. So we'll get rid of that real quick. So we can see the convertible. Um, we did the interior in a light blue for the prostate cancer color, and uh, the. Uh, Paint on the outside is super color, perfect match, and it's a um, GM uh, da -da 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 -da. medium quasar metallic is the blue, and the white is duper color, perfect match again, and it's actually a Honda color. It is white diamond, which is a color I've used a couple times before on the. Uh, 67 G, one of the 67 GTOs I did for last year's cancer blows was in that color and back when way back when when I did the Mach 5 it was with that white diamond um, the top is actually just uh, a bare plastic that I coated with a clear coat so it wouldn't look like so much like plastic um, I'm sorry guys, my turntable is broken. So it just grinds and growls and, and doesn't really doesn't really do much, so there's the other side. Uh the trunk does open. 
The hood does open also, but it's kind of hard to get it to do it. Not turning the car upside down. Let's see if we can get you up in there a little bit. I did it with the, uh, the high rise dual quad. It's a stock, it was a 289, I guess, is what's in the vet. Or 286, I don't even remember anymore. It's that time, it's too late at night. Um, or 290. I think it's a 290, I think. It's something like that. 286, 290. I don't even remember. You Chevy guys will know what it is and tell me for sure. Um, we didn't really do any wiring or anything in there because it has... Uh, the cover that covers the distributor and the coil so it was kind of there was no sense in wiring it um, so that's pretty much a stock build there turn her over and side is let me whiten this back out again and there goes all my signs it's pretty much a stock stock build on the underside so the only the only pieces that aren't aren't original are the wheels. Come in, we got the Route 66 plates on there. Uh, the headlights are still a little bit foggy because I forgot to drill a hole in the back of them before I glued the lenses in with the white glue. So it'll take several days for that to go clear because there's no no vent for the air. To, the moisture to get out. Uh, we did spare metal foil on uh, on most of the most of the trim. Some of it we used the pen, but most of it was bare metal foil. This makes it kind of easy. You can this piece here is a separate piece that popped it from the body, so you could paint it separately. You got to do this this section and mask it if you wanted to but the other one is a, a separate piece that makes it nice to do the, easy to do the two-tone um, see if I can get us into the interior a little bit here wood grain for the steering wheel uh, decals where you get decals for all the instruments um, probably the hardest part for me to on this whole thing to get done right clean was to do this waterfall it goes between the seats the mask the masking and stuff right I bet I stripped and redid that seat three times where I got it got it the right way I wanted it The kit also comes with, on a decal sheet, <coughs> luggage that you can fold up and put in the trunk, um, which I was going to do, but it's black and red checkers and it just, the color doesn't really match the car. So I didn't, we'll use them in another build, but uh, we'll put lots of, lots of pictures up at the end of the video like we always do and you know, I guess you've already seen by now the I have some build videos uh, at the build pictures before the video started but uh, yeah it's a uh, I'm real happy with the way it turned out and if you happen to be at the Butch O'Hare show here in two weeks on in Chicago on was it November 10th to be able to see this car in person because I'm going to bring it along to the show. So, hope everybody's having a good time with their can cancer build. And uh, even though the the group build officially ends on the on November 1st, if you're not done, don't worry about it. Um, got plenty of time. Right around the beginning of the third week of November, I'm going to do a uh, 
a slideshow video of everybody's completed build. So as long as you're done by, uh, say, Monday or Tuesday, and and hit me up with three or four pictures for those guys that haven't done that yet, or the ones that aren't done yet, then we can get it in the video and all will be good. Otherwise, uh, it just won't be in the video, but still continue to share share your build and and uh, we'll enjoy looking at it so uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna build next we're going into the holiday season um, I work retail so that means I have zero time um, so I don't know what I'll be doing next or when it'll be another another video update other than say the right before Thanksgiving the uh, I hope to have a slideshow up of the everybody's completed builds for the Cancer Awareness 2018. Um, so I'm glad you took the time. You all took the time to participate and uh, share your stories. I don't know if everybody remembers that my dad passed from prostate cancer. Uh, it was really tough, tough on me. Put me in a really dark place for a long time. And. Uh, We found our way out and continue on with life just, just like we're supposed to so have a good holiday if I don't see you before then and uh, good night.